My friend, I come to you in the name of Jesus to tell you today, if you're an unbeliever, and you're, or you're even a Christian that's trying to look into the occult, and you're, or you're even a Christian that's trying to look into the occult, that there's nothing good there. Um, Wicca is a religion invented by Satan himself. Uh, Wicca is a religion of me, a religion of what I want to do, a religion of what I want to do. It's a religion that makes Wiccans feel and pagans feel as if they're the ones in control. rabbinic Judaism. Judaism stopped being the religion of the Old Testament and began to be the religion of the rabbis. And their traditions, or what they call the oral Torah. The Talmud is the holy book of the Jews. been telling you we act very treacherously among each other Malachi 2.10 says have we all not one father has not one God created us why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning by profaning the covenant of our father oh when I think of the body of Christ today Right, see because he says he thinks of the body of Christ when he thinks about it today, that does not necessarily mean that he's part of the body of Christ, friends. And it also does not mean that he's not just talking about the body of Christ, you know, he could just be talking about the body of Christ. Do remember that. Because as we continue in this video, we will see that this video seems highly likely that it's been manipulated in such a way to say that the beast in Revelation 13 11 is Jesus Christ. I don't know if it's him doing it on purpose or it's the spirit of Antichrist moving in the world because wait you see this. Over 33,000 denominations. Over 33,000 versions of Jesus. Yeah. Right, it just says there's over 33,000 versions of Jesus, right? I find it pretty strange that he would use 33, you know, because there's... It's an estimate how many different denominations there are and things, right? But do you know what? He says that right after the scripture flows on screen. So I don't know if he's trying to say here that the Jesus of the Bible is a different version of Jesus. Because if you notice what he does next, on the ne as I, sh I will show you now, he says there is only one Jesus. And then if we continue in the video, he starts talking about how there's different denominations and things. There's manuals to, that you can get for different denominations. But right on the beast number, he says God tells us to follow him right on the beast number of the video and remember next he says there's only one Jesus so if you keep that in mind just remember you need to keep that in mind and ignore the distractions of him telling you that um, there's different manuals for different denominations and things like that you've got to remember that it's just after saying there is only one Jesus watch this that there's only one Jesus how is this possible how can this be? Am I the only one who's asking these questions? It can't be. I know there's many of you asking these same very questions. You can find the manual to be a Pentecostal. You can find the manual to be a Baptist. You can find the manual to be a Methodist. You can find the manual to be a Jehovah Witness. You can find the manual to be SDA. You can find the manual to be every denomination in the book. But you know what? God. God tells us to follow him. John 5, 43. 
I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and besides me there is no God. Isaiah 44.16 Isaiah 44.16 Watch this. Says Baal, the Phoenician god of high places. Starts talking about false gods here, right? Watch this. Gods such as the Kini, the Buddhist goddess of life turning point. The cross just starts fading in here, right? And he pauses in his speech. And watch what he says. I mean, False made up gods. False made up gods, just right when he shows the cross, friends. And listen to this. That little kindergarten kids can make up. That little kindergarten kids can make up. This is likely mockery, friends. Likely mockery. Right, see now, I would just like to show you some things from this guy's channel, right? That he does in his videos, right? That is highly likely not a coincidence. And I'm going to show you from this video here, right, see this video? This video is talking about witchcraft within the church, right? How Hugo Chavez used necromancy and stuff. And now we're getting into the conclusion of the video here. And listen to what Neftali says and does here. New thing, why? Why? Jesus came to set you free. From bondage, from depression from anxiety and from witchcraft and from witchcraft we've gone through the major type of obvious occult rituals with Hugo Chavez to the mainstream of the Kim Kardashian to the now more subtle within the church to the now more subtle within the church maybe you Neftali you masquerade yourself as a Christian ministry, maybe you're more subtle within the church. Because look what this guy does next. Jesus is coming soon. The wages of your sin is death. Romans 6.23 If you need Jesus Christ, turn to him. If you need Jesus Christ, turn to him. Right when the beast symbol comes in, friends. Right when the beast symbol comes in. And now he goes on to say to... Lift up little Wayne in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Next he'll say, lift up little Wayne in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch this. Little Wayne is a prime example of an individual 
who has been dealing with things in the occult, believing that he could be as a god. Yet right now he's finding himself in the hospital fighting for his life. by the time it edit this video if he's with us or not but right now I ask you if by the time this video airs if he's still with us in the name of Jesus Christ lift him up in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ lift him up in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ lift him up in prayer and remember he flowed in here right when he said Jesus Christ and showed the beast symbol show you it one more time right Romans 6 23 if you need Jesus Christ, turn to him. If you need Jesus Christ, turn to him. Shows the beast symbol. You'll never be able to convince me that that was not done on purpose. Right, I've decided to end this video here. You know, I could have shown you more, but if this is not enough for you to see that you should avoid this channel, then I do not know what is. And by the way, me reaching out to this guy isn't going to help. Because this guy knows the true gospel, yet through the imagery in his videos you can clearly see that he's rejected it, you know? And um, what I've noticed with these channels on YouTube, friends, is that they're teaching that they are gods, and that they own you, and that they own the celebrities, and that they mock you through the video, through the imagery, try to say that you worship them as idols. Sickening, friends. Absolutely sickening. Who do these people think they are coming on here trying to say that they own us and things? Sickening. They ought to be called out, these channels. You know, a lot of people don't call them out because they don't want to come across as a person that's making accusations. But you can see the mockery taking place. You can see the mockery taking place and I'm no standing for it, man. I'm going to say something. And I'm going to warn and love my neighbour. Thanks for watching this video. God bless.